while the dominoes are falling, even Howard Schultz, founder and CEO of uh, Starbucks Coffee, says it's the end of brick and mortar. Let's see here. Montgomery Wards is gone. Um, uh, Borders is gone. Blockbuster is gone. Um, let's see. Macy's is closing a bunch of stores now, about 300 stores. J.C. Penney's closing, I don't know, a couple hundred stores. Walgreens is closing stores. Target is closing stores. They're all firing thousands of people. And that's because everybody's shopping online. Huh. Also, people don't want to go get mugged, carjacked, and stabbed and shot at the malls. That's where the wolves go, because that's where the sheep are at. Okay, let me tell you, this is a huge problem. I've been talking about it for who at least 10, 12 years. Singularity. This is why all the jobs are gone. This is why all the big assembly and uh, manufacturing business are switching over to robots and computers. It's called singularity, because a robot doesn't want six months' worth of pre- paid pregnancy leave. A robot doesn't get a back problem and go on disability the rest of their life. People, robots don't retire and have more money coming in on retirement than they did when they were working. Uh, this is unsustainable. Now, big CEOs didn't chase manufacturing out of this country. It was actually the high cost of medical care. Now, remember, remember Bernie Madoff, who defrauded his investors by $3 billion? He's spending life in jail for his crimes. $3 billion. Well, the medical system, your medical doctor, your medical doctor, not somebody else's, your medical doctor is included. They, according to the uh, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services in September of 2012, came out and said, your medical doctor and all the other medical doctors in America together each year, each year, defraud their patients by illegitimate billing, in other words, fraudulent billing to their insurers, defraud them of $750 billion. $750 billion, that's three-quarters of a trillion dollars. And that's what's causing all these uh, doctors to get paid nickels on every $100 they bill because they're overbilling. They're overbilling to keep their extraordinary lifestyles. They're overbilling so they can keep rubbing shoulders with billionaires in the country clubs. They're overbilling so their trophy wife and have a white Mercedes with white leather interior, okay? The basic cause of all these problems is the high cost of medical benefits. Why would a doctor take $300 to cure rheumatoid arthritis when he can make $750,000 for treating you for 25 years? There's no law requiring a doctor to cure you, and so he's going to treat you every time. When you look at the PDR, the physician's desk reference, you're looking at, I don't know, half a million Pharmaceuticals that doctors can write prescriptions for? Only 500 of them. The antibiotics cure diseases, strep throat, infections, abscesses, pneumonia, bacterial meningitis. The other, say, 499,500, only treat diseases. The pharmaceutical industry just makes drugs that treat diseases. Why would they want to cure you in three days? There's no money in that. And so they build things that kind of reduce your symptoms a little bit, keep you alive, just long enough to keep paying them. And so I want you to think of longevity. I want you to think of joining us. We need help. People are flocking to us as they're losing their insurance. People are flocking to us as they're losing their jobs. People are flocking to us as their families get sick and the doctors won't treat them because they don't take that type of, of Medicare, Medicaid. So what I want you to do is contact your longevity associate today and say, okay, 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 I know that I need to learn how to be in my own business. I want to get a hold of that book. Oh, Wall Street for Kids, although it sounds like it was written for kids. I need it because I only worked. I was only an employee though, my whole life. I never owned a business. I don't know anything about tax deductions. I don't know anything about profitability. I don't know anything about that stuff. Well, the nice thing about it is Longevity does all the manufacturing. Longevity does all the shipping. You don't need personnel in space to do all that stuff. You just work out of your own home. You get you know, just great tax deductions for having a home base office and a little bit of a warehouse. And you get car bonuses with us. Uh, when you reach certain ranks, you, your car bonuses can go up from three hundred dollars a month to a thousand bucks a month. You can get a couple of pretty good cars uh, for your business for thousand dollars a month. Pay for the insurance, pay for the maintenance and the fuel. Whew. What about that? And then, of course, we're publicly traded, so you do get stock options based on ranks. As you go up in ranks, you get more stock options. That's how the big boys do it. You don't have to pay have uh, uh, taxes on stock options. You only pay uh, taxes on stock options when you cash them in. You can pass them on to your family, and you can pass them on for three generations and never need to pay taxes on them. You wait till you can really make some good money on them. 
That's what you do, or you keep them forever, just as sort of that backup in case somebody gets catastrophically sick and you've lost your insurance. So I want you to contact your Young TV associate. Ask for that book, Wall Street for Kids. Ask for the trilogy of books, Let's Play Doctor, Let's Play Herbal Doctor, and the Passport to Aromatherapy, and learn how to deal with over 900 different diseases using vitamins, minerals, and trace minerals, and rare earths, amino acids, fatty acids, herbs, and aromatherapy oils. If you have a weight problem, ask your Young TV associate about Hell's Kitchen and ASAP. If you actually play sports or you work, you do have a job. You're one of those lucky people that have a job and you sweat. Um, what you want to do is get a hold of that book called Energy Crisis and learn why Longevity coffee is the thing to drink instead of Howard Schultz's, right? Why not drink your own coffee? Why not get your relatives to drink your coffee? Why not get your coffee in the place you work and you get a check from me every month? It is that simple. It's that simple. Contact your Longevity associate today and say, I'm in, I'm tired of this, this economy is falling. And even Howard Schultz said the day of brick and mortar is over. No brick and mortar, no employees. You don't need many employees when you have a Internet business. That's one of the advantages of an Internet business. No employees. So give us a call. Contact your Longevity associate. Dead doctors don't lie. It's the only time they won't. We'll be back after these messages. Okay, Doug, what pearls of wisdom do you have for us today? Well, we knew it was coming, but uh, now I've got a CNN headline story where the headline reads, Docs say insurers are dropping them in hopes their costly patients will follow. And they outlined a specific case here, a woman by the name of Jody Sabatino, and she's nearly 80 years old. She had United Healthcare, and she got a letter from her insurance company let, letting her know that four of her regular six regular doctors won't be covered at all next year. She said she couldn't. Believe. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here's an eight-year-old woman who's got six doctors. Yeah, that right there tells you part of the problem. But they're milking her. Yeah, they are. They really are. And what what they're doing though is what this whole story is about is that a lot of these insurance companies uh, that have uh, they're dropping doctors that have a lot of older patients that have uh, multiple health challenges because under the new law they they are required to have to take those people. So instead, since they can't cut the patients out, now they're cutting the patients' doctors out of the plan from the Medicare Advantage plan, and they're hoping that these uh, patients will do it. As Jody Sabatino did, which is she went and shopped around and found a more expensive health plan that would still cover her doctor. She said she had eight prescriptions. There's another red flag. And United covered about half of them or they were going to all go up. And um, according to her doctor, Dr. Lawrence Mikowski says, by, uh, but by switching plans, she can stay with me. But uh, he says, that given this, this is a letter that was written by United Healthcare to this doctor. It says, given the significant changes and pressures in the healthcare environment, we have undertaken a review of our network and are making changes to its composition. As a result, United Healthcare is amending your agreement reference above to discuss, uh, to discontinue your participation in the Medicare Advantage network effective January 1st, 2014. This amendment does not require your signature. So uh, what they're basically doing is hoping that the patient will follow the doctor when the doctor's no longer covered on the plan. And, you know, whatever happened to if you like your health care plan, you're going to be able to keep it. I guess they didn't mention anything about being able to keep your doctor. But, uh, you know, as you mentioned uh, before we got on the air, a lot of this is probably because these doctors are just milking Medicare. And these companies are looking down the road and saying, hey, we're not going to be a party to that. Exactly. Uh, September 2012, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services released a report that said each year, each year in America, Doug, medical doctors defraud their patients and the insurance companies $750 billion. That's three quarters of a trillion dollars each year. Nobody went to jail. Nobody was indicted. Nobody lost their licenses. Now, Bernie Madoff went to jail for life for defrauding his investors by $3 billion. Here's one industry that defrauded their customers by $750 billion, three-quarters of a trillion dollars. All the doctors, all the insurance companies got to walk. And so uh, this is why it's collapsing. It's collapsing under their own weight. You can't keep milking uh, the system like this, like the medical doctors did. And I've said that that's why all these, these industrial uh, manufacturers and, and assembly companies, all these hard... Um, big box companies like J.C. Penney's and Macy's. I knew it was coming because I spent a lot of time, you know, at different cities and things, and I go through these stores uh, talking to people, trying to get my finger in the pulse of things. 
And you can fire a cannon through these big box stores. I was just in uh, Costco today buying some socks, for goodness sakes. And, I mean, it is empty. They had 12 employees there, and they're all just staring at the ceiling because I was the only customer the whole Costco. Okay? And you can't, this, these big stores can't survive like that. They have to have hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of sales a day to pay for all those employees, their medical benefits, their utilities, their insurance. Uh, these stores are hurting because of the way they're made up. And, of course, employees all want their insurance. Come to us. Come to Yongevity, and you'll be happier. We'll be back after these messages. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. Let's head to Alabama, and Anthony, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Well, Anthony, you're on the air. Hey, Doc, how you doing? Okay, sir, how can I help you? Good, good, good. I've got uh, two questions, if the second one's possible. But the first one is a young lady that has uh, high blood pressure and is looking to uh, get her immune system back up. And some years ago, she had bronchitis. And, uh, okay, how much does she weigh? Um, 124. Okay, how old is she? Uh, 53, 4'11". Okay, and does she have, so she's slim at 4'11". Actually, 4'11", not 5'11", 4'11". Okay, so she's under 5 foot tall. All right, so tell me, um, in addition to having bronchitis, did she ever have any skin problems, any eczema, dermatitis, or psoriasis? She didn't say, she didn't say. Okay, well, let's assume for a minute she does. Okay, Shar, are you there? I'm here. Okay, here we have a middle-aged lady, 124 pounds. Uh, she got uh, bronchitis, maybe some other stuff, certainly high blood pressure. What would you do for this lady? I would get her on a gluten-free diet first before anything. Okay. And then I would get her on a um, high blood pressure and everything. I would get her on a healthy start pack. and High blood pressure, she needs some ultimate daily for that. Okay, perfect. Very good. So uh, 124 pounds would be um, one healthy start pack per month. Cut it in half. Half of those are everything at breakfast and dinner. And then for the high blood pressure, Char said, I'd go ahead and give her one bottle a month of the Ultimate Daily Tablets at three at breakfast, three at dinner. And um, if she does have ongoing bronchitis, uh, what's going to happen is that um, gluten-free diet is going to help her. That means no wheat, barley, rye, and oats, no fried foods, no processed meats with nitrates and nitrites, no oils. And um, wouldn't hurt to get an extra bottle of the EFAs because uh, the EFA Plus has come with it. Uh, three a day would uh, do her one of breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then three of the EFAs uh, a day, one of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that's going to help her with that chronic bronchitis. Okay, second question, Anthony. Uh, her brother, um, when I was telling him about you, he was very impressed, and, and uh, I called you about him last week about his uh, heart fluttering and uh, anxiety attacks and loses his train of thought, 185 pounds, 195.9. And uh, he had a question about, he might have thought you said something about the blood sugar. And he doesn't have that, but he, I, it seemed like you were saying that something might trigger that. One of these things might trigger okay, that. Okay, well, yeah, this heart fluttering is, is almost always, um, if there's nothing organically wrong with the heart, which there usually is not, they... They can call it tachycardia for rapid heart rate, which is set off by position. Um, some people get palpitations of their heart, again, by position. Nothing wrong with the heart. It's almost always a back problem, and that's the problem. Uh, so a guy his weight, I'd have him take two healthy heart and brain packs per month, throw in the um, glucogel, two large bottles of that, so he can take 15 a day, five at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then because of the anxiety attack, there could be a sugar thing, so I'd give them three of the sweeties twice a day. That's two bottles a month. Call us every couple of weeks, and uh, we'll look at the, his sister and himself after these messages. Let's head to California. And Maria, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Maria. You're on the air. Hi, Dr. Wallach. Hi. What's up? Okay, I have two questions. One is for um, about my daughter. She's 11 years old, and she's been having pains for about five years. And the doctor said that it's growing pains. Okay, so and she's having like, pains in her joints, her legs? Uh, all over. She just okay. complains of pains all over. And if you touch her, she says that it hurts. And they checked her for um, different things. And the doctor said that she does deficient in vitamin um, D3. And her jaw hasn't been developing, and they want to pull some teeth out. So okay, now, when, they gave, when you gave her the vitamin D3, did that relieve any of the pain? 
No, she still complains of, of the pain. Okay, how much does she weigh? Um, about 85 to 90 pounds. Okay, very good. Now, hold on here. Okay, Char? Yes? Here's an 11-year-old girl mm-hmm. with growing pains, which is what they call arthritis in kids. Right. She's 90 pounds, so consider 100 pounds. What would you give her at 100 pounds uh, for an 11-year-old kid with growing pains? I'd help give her the healthy bone and joint pack. Perfect. You get an A+. plus. Okay. So what I would do here, Maria, is give your daughter the healthy bone and joint pack, cut it in half, give her a half a dose of everything at breakfast, half a dose of everything at dinner. That would mean she's going to get a tablespoon, which is a half ounce, of the Osteo FX Plus at breakfast, the other tablespoon or half ounce at dinner time, as one scoop of the Beyond Tangerine Nutri Crystals at breakfast and one scoop at dinner time, and then the three EFA Pluses, uh, she could have one at breakfast and two at dinner. That way she doesn't have to take pills at school. And then the uh, glucogel, <clears throat> she'll have one bottle of glucogel there. I'd get an extra bottle of glucogel for her, uh, also in addition to that one healthy bone and joint pack. That way she could take five at breakfast. She could take five after school and five at dinner time, or five at breakfast, five at dinner time, and five at bedtime with a glass of water. Uh, give us a call every two weeks on her because I think she'll show, since the doctors can't find anything serious, then this should be something that will really help her. Okay, second question. Would that help with her, her teeth? Because they want to pull them out already. They well, that she um, had- I would get a second opinion from another dentist. I would not rush I- to have all her teeth pulled out. Okay, she's been to two already. I'm sorry, say again? I've taken her to two different ones already. Okay, and they said the same thing? Yeah, that's when my husband, his teeth are so crowded that, you know, they don't want him to get like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, it's not a genetic thing. It has to do with failure of bone growth. And so I'd give it a couple of months here. Uh, give it 90 days. Give it three months before you make that decision whether you're going to pull that child's teeth out. Okay. Call us every couple of weeks, Maria. Bring us up to date. Okay. Doug, let's go to callers. Oh, we're just about at break time. Oh, okay. We're just about at break time, so I'll go ahead and take it. And remind everybody about, of course... The new Immortalium, uh, this is the um, combination or culmination of years of research on how to get your telomeres to live longer. Instead of the Hayflick limit, which only allows them to duplicate 50 one times, we're going to have the Wallach limit for unlimited duplication. We'll be back after these messages. Let's head to Indiana. And David, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, David. You're on the air. Hi, doctor. This is David. Uh, from I've you, I talked to you a couple of weeks ago. My sister has a brain a tumor they had to take out, uh, and you recommended two healthy brain packs and some uh, uh, Z Radical and Ultimate Classic. I got her on that, and she's doing well. The, the name of the cancer is glioblastoma malformis, and they said it was a fast. The glio glioblastoma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Because you asked me before, and I didn't know what it was. Yeah. Uh, okay. The question, the question I have, she's doing well on that and everything, and she's taking it regularly. Uh, she got a hold of a, a naturopathic physician, and they said, don't take anything with selenium in it because it protects the cells of the cancer. They were real adamant about that. And I said, don't get off okay. this stuff. No, no. Take- selenium is your best friend when you have cancer. Selenium supports your immune system, which is your best friend. Why would they selenium- be saying that? Say again? Why would they be telling her that? Uh, because they're ignorant, okay? Doctors can be very smart. They have IOQs, but they're ignorant. I actually sued the FDA, and I'm able to say, because I prevailed in federal court, it was one of my eight lawsuits against them, which I prevailed in, that um, supplementation with 200 micrograms of selenium a day will actually help prevent certain types of cancer and support your body's ability to make anti-cancer substances. Now, why would a federal court... Give me permission to say that about selenium, if selenium is going to be bad for somebody with cancer. They are very insane, okay? Um, if you, I, I'd fire those doctors and find another doctor. So, okay. I, I That's the answer no, to the question. Gonna, yeah. Uh, the, the other thing is you uh, you mentioned to try some, you know, as uh, gallium. And so I got that book, Rare Earth, Forbidden Cures, just got it, and I really haven't read through it that much. But hey, you want to read it in chapter, read in chapter 11 under the, cha- you know, under the uh, gallium. Mm-hmm. And where do, I, where do you actually get that kind of a supplement? In, you know, it's actually in, it's in the um, 
two healthy heart and brain packs. It's in there. Okay. So you weren't talking about taking any extra? No. No, no, no. There's plenty in there. And then she's got some information on hemp oil. What would you suggest well, about that? Uh, it, it, Hemp oil, I don't know where she got that idea, but hemp oil is an omega-3 essential fatty acid. And in two healthy heart and brain packs, she's getting uh, plenty. She should be able to take three of the EFA Plus as a breakfast and dinner and three of the EFAs as a breakfast and dinner. She doesn't need any more. Uh, but if she wants to spend the extra money, it's fine. It's not going to hurt her. But there's no magic in hemp oil. It has an exotic name. And, uh, you know, all the people who are fans of um, uh, marijuana like people who use hemp fiber, hemp oil, hemp seeds, hemp flour, hemp cookies, hemp this, hemp that. So there'll be enormous amounts of it grown every place, and that way there'll be enough pressure put on U.S. Congress to legalize marijuana for smoking. But at any rate, um, it's one of those things where um, it's not a necessary thing in this case, but if she wants to take it, it won't hurt her either. Okay? Okay. All right, Doug, let's go to callers. Let's head to Cedar Falls, Iowa, and Mike, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Mike, you're on the air. Hey, uh, Dr. Wallach, uh, uh, honored beyond. Uh, I've got a quick question for you. Um, my wife and I have been dealing with this for a long time. <clears throat> we got a 12-year-old child, or excuse me, 11-year-old child who has a problem with his hypothalamus. I'm sorry. And we've been to so many neurologists. Well, stop, stop, stop. You said she has what? He has a problem with his hypothalamus. And we went to, I don't want to mention the uh, name of the hospital that we went okay, to. Well, we'll stop there a minute. What does what trouble with the hypothalamus mean? How does that manifest itself clinically? What's happening, he's never hungry, never thirsty. Mm-hmm. And according to this hospital, now, Wait a minute, stop, 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 stop. When this baby was a, a baby, when this child was a baby, when the baby was uh, four, five, six years old, were, were they hungry? Uh, that's a good question. We had to, to give him Neocate. We had a stomach scope done. You know, taken Neocate, and the problem resolved. Uh, well, how long ago I, was that? How long ago was that? that? That's when he was a baby. Mm-hmm. But then as the years went on, he was diagnosed with having uh, seizures, not the type that you, you shake a lot, but the type of seizures where you just kind of went blank. And then he and during school, he couldn't see it. He didn't know who his teacher was, didn't know who the kids were, so they ended up giving him Depakote. Well, now over he's been on Depcoat for about a year and a half, and one day he just woke up and he's never hungry or thirsty. And kind of give you an idea, he weighed about okay. Now, wait a minute, stop there again. Is he still on the drug? No, we we totally discontinued it. How long ago? Uh, uh, probably a couple of months ago when this. Uh, probably about four months ago when this ended up happening. Okay, how much does this child weigh? How much does this child weigh, Mike? He weighed about one hundred and five pounds. Right now, he weighs seventy eight. Okay, so he's lost some weight. Hmm. Okay, here's what I would do. I would. Does he like ice cream? He doesn't. He has no hunger, no thirst. We even asked the neurologist as well as the GI doctor about omega three. Maybe could maybe they, that could kind of jumpstart it because mm-hmm. they seem baffled by this. Okay. Well, uh, wait a minute. Stop again. Stop again. I have to ask a couple of questions here. Um, will Will he eat ice cream if you give him ice cream? No. I have to tell him to take a bite. Okay, well, if you have, but does he eat it when you when you tell him to take a bite? It's a struggle. Okay, what I would do is get our Slender Effects Weight Management um, um, Shake. Comes in a powder. I'd get the chocolate if he's not allergic to chocolate. Get our liquid chocolate called Coco Jevity. Make this with heavy whipping cream instead of water. Uh, I'd throw two eggs in there. So you're gonna have two eggs. You have a serving of the Slender Effects Weight Management Shake, preferably chocolate, with an ounce of the um, Cocoa Jivity, and then make I think it's for a serving is eight ounces of water, but throw out the water and make it with eight, eight ounces of heavy whipping cream. I want you to whip it up real good and, and throw a couple of ice cubes in there if he likes it cold to drink. A sip here, a sip there is fine. Um, also, you can put it in the freezer and make an ice cream out of it so you can nibble on it while you're watching TV together or something. And is he at home or is he going to school? Uh, he's going to school after uh, every day during lunch. I have to go there to try to get him to eat and drink. Okay. Uh, that's another thing. He doesn't he doesn't want to drink either. Okay, well, stop a minute. What I want you to do is give him rebound instead of water. Give him rebound. It comes in a can. And um, he can drink rebound. Or you can take the sticks and tear them open and put a couple of those sticks in 10, 12 ounces of water in a bottle of water. 
And if you have to sit there and tell them to do this for a while, then that's what you got to do. You got to get the nutrients into them. And then I'd give them the smart FX. Give them the smart FX. And a guy his size, 105 or 78 pounds now, supposed to be 105. Uh, I'd have him take three of those twice a day. I'd give him two servings of that ice cream a day. In other words, he's going to wind up taking four eggs a day in and a total of uh, um, 16 ounces of the heavy whipping cream a day and two servings of the shake. And uh, then, of course, he's going to have, I'd go ahead and give him uh, one healthy heart and brain pack per month, cut it in half, give him a dose, half a dose for having a breakfast and dinner. And you're going to have to work with him to get him eating and everything. And I'd put him on a gluten-free diet, absolutely no wheat, barley, rye, or oats, no wheat, barley, rye, or oats, just in case there's an absorption problem. No wheat, barley, rye, and oats, no oils, no margins, mayonnaise, salad dressings, cooking oils. And I suspect that there's something, you know, underlying this, like a gluten intolerance can't absorb healthy fats for the brain. And so we're going to have to work real hard to get him on a gluten-free diet. You're going to have to be gluten-free. The mama's got to be gluten-free. Anybody else in the house, including dog, cat, bird, fish, call me every two weeks. We'll walk you through this. Don't call me in six months and say he's in trouble. Call me every two weeks and we'll walk you through this. Be back after these messages. We're back with Dead Doctors Don't Lie on the ZBS Radio Network. Dr. Joel Wallach here for Young Jimmy, 90 for Life Crusade. And Doug, let's go to callers. Let's head to Capitola, California. And Kat, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Oh, Kat, you're on the air. Hi, Dr. Wallach. Thanks for taking my call. You bet. What's up? We have a community uh, police officer that was recently uh, diagnosed with ALS. Okay. And he's 260 pounds, six foot five, 46 years old. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the supplements that could help him uh, with sure. the symptoms. Okay. Well, we actually have uh, uh, had this kind of problem before, uh, so we know how to resolve it. Uh, basically, he needs to get on a gluten-free diet, absolutely gluten-free. Okay. No wheat, okay. barley, and oats. Absolutely no fried foods, no processed meats with nitrates and nitrites, no deli slices, no sandwich meats, no sausage, ham, bacon, bologna, salami, pastrami, pepperoni, jerky, that kind of stuff. Um, he needs to also stay away from... Uh, oils, no margins, mayonnaise, salad dressings, cooking oils. Um, <clears throat> got to stay away from all that. If he eats canned fish, it's fine, but they got to be packed in water, mustard, tomato sauce, not oil. Because he's 260 pounds, the optimal dose would be three healthy heart and brain packs per month because he's, he's closer to 300 pounds than he is 200 pounds. Optimally, he would need two, or excuse me, three healthy heart and brain packs per month. Uh, that would be one ounce of the Osteo FX Plus at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Two scoops of the Beyond Tangerine Nutri-Crystals 2.0 at uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Three of the EFA Pluses at breakfast and dinner. Three of the EFAs at breakfast and dinner. And then um, uh, he would also get uh, uh, three selenium three times a day. That's part of that uh, healthy heart and brain pack. Uh, So he'd be able to have three selenium at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, Then I want him to have uh, 14 to 16 eggs a day. Uh, he could have them in a shake, um, but uh, there's a lot of calories in a shake. So I'd, I'd just um, either soft scramble these eggs in butter. Uh, he could have four three times a day, um, and he could have red meat, and roast beef, and that sort of stuff. He could have a baked pork chop, but not a fried pork chop. Uh, he can't have deli slices beef because it, it has nitrates in it. Got to have regular home-made uh, roast beef or those eggs. He needs 14 to 16 eggs every day. That's to rebuild his brain. And um, let's see, I do want him also to take the Immortalium. I want him to have four of those twice a day. Uh, that'll be two bottles a month of the Immortalium. That actually helps to repair um, cells that have been damaged, encourage stem cell growth and so forth. And uh, it used to be that the telomeres at the end of the uh, chromosomes would only let cells duplicate 51 times. It's called the Hayflick limit because Leonard Hayflick uh, observed that limitation in human cell cultures and test tubes. Well, because of the immortalium, we're going to call it the Wallach limit now because there'll be no limits, okay, as opposed to only 51 replications. The idea is to rebuild the brain here, but don't forget those 14 to 16 eggs a day. That's absolutely imperative. They can be soft, soft scramble in butter. They can be soft poached. I had four poached eggs this morning for breakfast um, with some uh, salt and pepper on them. I had some nuts with it. I had some fruit, and I had my supplements. 
and this is the way he's going to have to eat from now on. But this is a reversible disease. It's not autoimmune. It's not a mysterious disease. It's not genetic. But if he's six foot five, I'd like to see him 220, 230, all muscle. He may have to lose 30, 40 pounds. But let's get him going on this program first, and as soon as he's in a routine, we can add the ASAP. And I would go ahead and just put one dropper full under his tongue 30 minutes before each meal, and uh, I'd get him two bottles a month. Uh, that way he could put a second dropper full under his tongue 15 minutes before each meal, and that would help him lose a half a pound to two pounds a day. But don't forget the gluten-free stuff. Absolutely imperative here to increase absorption. Give us a call every two weeks. Uh, give us a progress report in this wonderful policeman. Okay, Doug, how much time we got? You got about 10 seconds here. Whoa, 10 seconds. Don't forget, we got a new book coming out here in 30 days. It's called Epigenetics, the Death of the Genetic Theory of Disease Transmission. So watch for it. Epigenetics, it's going to be a monster. We're already getting an enormous amount of publicity with it. We're also getting an enormous amount of invitations to speak here and there, media, media reviews and so forth. Don't forget the new book coming out, Epigenetics, The Death of the Genetic Theory of Disease Formation. Thank you, Char. Super job. Thank you so much, Doug and Billy. Superlative job, as usual. God bless each and every one of you. God bless your troops, and God bless America. America.